Hello, here are the top 10 vehicles in Grand Theft Auto 3, as decided by you. In 10th place is the Rhino Tank. Luke says, Absolute beast, the ultimate vehicle for avoiding traffic jams, by crushing everything. And Josh agreed, saying, I used to love using it to enact vigilante justice to all people. We're with you there, Josh. In ninth place is the Yardy Lobo. Hexa says, Isn't the fastest, but I was pleasantly surprised to learn that it had hydraulics. To which Levi replied, saying, I still remember the first time I found that out. I flew off the side of the bridge on the east side of Staunton. Let's try and recreate that moment. In 8th place is The Dodo. Michael said, It was immensely satisfying pulling off successful flights with it. The first time flying from Shoreside to Staunton is etched in my memory. But Brian meanwhile shares some of your opinions, saying, Cause only the most evil game maker would even think to conceive something so aggravating. The Yakuza Stinger is in 7th place. Michael says, Fast enough to evade police and nimble enough to finesse through traffic. Whereas James says, The only vehicle capable of reversing up the dam. Is that true? Well, I guess so. In 6th place we have the police car. Liam says, I love the look and the speed that car has, it's incredible. Not to mention that you'd get a free shotgun when you stole one. In 5th place is the taxi. Paul says, Not the fastest, but flicks nicely around the corners, and so numerous that you were rarely without one. And Adam says, They're common enough that you can just grab another as soon as yours is beaten up. Next we have the Bulletproof Patriot that you get at the end of the Marked Man mission. Brian says, The only downside was that if the car got flipped upside down, it was a goner. And Romulo says, I would reset and reload a previous save whenever I flipped as I couldn't afford losing it. We are all a bunch of cheaters. In third place is the Mafia Sentinel. Craig says, Fast, nice handling, looks slick, plus getting one late in the game was rewarding since the Mafia dudes on the street could blow you up in like 5 seconds. Daniel replied saying, I had one part in every garage. It was fast and handled well, but could also take a couple of knocks without threatening to blow up. In second place we have the Banshee. Matthew says, It was the first fast car you could get your hands on in the game, and I think the best looking. And Carl says, In the showroom near the 8 ball garage, the joys of trying not to crash it, but always failing. I don't know what Carl is on about. And so what did you vote as the best car in Grand Theft Auto 3? You've chosen the Diablo Stallion. There was no question as to the winner of this list, as the Diablo Stallion received more than double the amount of votes than the Banshee in second place. Tom says, they sounded amazing, and as a kid, it looked cool as hell. Mark says, best drift car next to the Banshee. And David says, this was always my go-to ride in GTA 3, best sounding car in the game. D 
do you agree with this list? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for watching. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss any videos in the future. Cheers!